Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you a neat new service called Whiteboard.5. It's an easy way for your students to have a whiteboard that they can draw on and submit to you. Here's how it works. Go to Whiteboard.5, click on New Class, name your class. I'll call it Mr. Byrne's class. And we'll create it. When I create it, I get this unique URL. And I can share that with my students. Perhaps I'll put it in Google Classroom or whatever LMS I want to use. And let's take a look at how the student sees it. So a student goes to that URL, types in his or her name, joins the whiteboard, and they can start drawing and sketching. Now, as the teacher, I immediately see what my students have been doing. Now I can click on this. If the student has written something inappropriate, I can kick them out. I can also erase it. I can also push it out for the whole class to see that particular whiteboard. Now my student, when he or she is done, can just go up here and click on leave the room and they're done. Now, when I'm done here as the teacher, I can go out and clear all these whiteboards, or I can close the room. I can also hide all of the students' names. Now, as the teacher here, let's say I've accidentally left it. I can resume the class, be right back in there. Perhaps this time I'm going to go in and erase now I've erased the whiteboard, or I could say I cleared all whiteboards, but I have multiple whiteboards in there. And next I'm going to show you what you can do with your own whiteboard so your students can see it. So I clicked on my whiteboard, and here I might do a little drawing, a sketch, or just a little math problem. And I can push my whiteboard to students. And so now any student who's in the class sees my whiteboard pushed out to them. And again, when I'm done, I can clear all whiteboards and I can close the room. Now, once I close the room, that room is closed and I'm going to have to create a new class if I want to use whiteboard.5 again. So that's whiteboard.5. Great little tool for having students draw on a whiteboard and share it with you. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out practicaledtech.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.